Hi, Jennifer. Uh, I'm Sue Gass from Michigan State University. I'm one of the co-authors of the book Second Language Acquisition and Introductory Course. This book is a textbook that covers the major topics and constructs in the field of SLA. SLA is what we call the field Second Language Acquisition. You know, the book was written um, as an uh, introductory course for both undergraduate and graduate students. We had hoped that this would give them a basic understanding of the field. It's a text that is commonly used in introductory second language um, acquisition courses, as well as applied linguistics courses, because we found that teachers and students alike find it accessible and comprehensive. Thank you. That's very interesting. Tell me a little, a little bit about what you think the book aims to cover. Well, the, what we had hoped to do was to give readers broad exposure to the field of SLA, uh, both to those readers who come into the field with a background in linguistics or background in languages, and even those who come into the field without much background at all, who may just be interested in knowing how languages are learned. Um, we do try to co give uh, broad coverage to um, a wide range of areas, including, oh, for example, the history of SLA, the major approaches to the field, the questions that SLA research attempts to answer, as well as the types of research that has been, that have been um, research questions that have been asked, the research that's been and is currently being conducted, as well as the most empirical, up-to-date findings in the field. Oh, I see. What would you say is a major strength of the book? Well, that's um, an interesting question. I guess if I were to have to give a major strength, I would say that it's a comprehensive coverage of different types of approaches to SLA. For example, we cover approaches that fall into each of, what we might say, three major perspectives on SLA, sort of the linguistic perspective, the cognitive perspective, as well as the sociolinguistic perspectives all of which we try very hard to present in a balanced manner. Um, also, the book reflects the interdisciplinary nature of the field with influences coming from a range of areas, such as linguistics, education, psychology, and, and sociology, as well as others. And, and we take all of these influences into account and weave them together, showing how the acquisition of a second language is affected by many, many different factors. This, we believe, provides students with a balanced view of the field. Thanks. That's very interesting. I, I know this book has been really popular since it first came out in 1994. What do you think is the reason for that success? Hmm. Well, what we've heard from faculty, professors, and students over the years is that they very much appreciate the use of real data from second language learners in the book. And the points for discussion at the end has also been very well received. Um, because it gives students the opportunity to put into use the concepts and the theories that they have learned about. Um, I guess I would say that's one of the reasons for the success. It's also been popular because of its sections that cover relevant topics as how SLA is related to instructed language acquisition, for example, to second language vocabulary acquisition, to bilingualism, to multilingualism, as well as to individual differences in, um, in second language acquisition. So those, I think, are some of the reasons that account for its success over the years. And right now we're working on the fourth edition. I'm working on it with two of my colleagues, Jennifer Bainey and Luke Plonsky, and we hope to have that uh, ready to go to the publisher quite soon. Thanks for your attention.